Good morning guys! It is our first full day in Milan. Yes, we are already in Milan. This is my outfit prepared. All my accessories here. Anyway, we're finally going to see the Duomo today. But we're gonna be leaving in a bit, but I'm so happy because they actually cook Sinigang and we all really miss rice and Filipino food already. So let's go and have lunch. Sinigang! Yes! yes. Sinigang in Milan! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Italiano Sinigang! Italiano! <laughs> Sinigang! <no. laughs> Fit of the day! It's the outfit! I'm gonna show you guys the elevator that they have. Vintage style. Close the door. Close these doors. <laughs> Ready? Ready. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, what if in the video there's something? There's a video. You're gonna see something cool. Oh shit. No, you stopped it. <laughs> so it's 2 p.m. and we are finally out of our Airbnb. And I beg Ben to come with me outside because I need a coffee. Yeah. We're in Milano. We're in Milano. It's our first time here. Yeah, it's our first time here. Milano. Wow, new city. Wow, that's beautiful. Let me. Let me. We're at Evian. See you now. Big no recycle. I'm like, he can't have the ring. In it, no, babe? Yes. Would you, get it? Would you get any shorts? Time to buy some shorts. Let's see, buy the shorts. Game, palita. Then. I'll freeze tomorrow in Switzerland. <laughs> Game, perfect. So now we're walking in Duomo. The past two places that we stopped in were just fashion outlets. The last outlet, we actually met a Filipina who gave us an extra 30% discount. So, Ate, if you're watching this. <laughs> camera now <laughs> What? Big high na. Iko gani? You're the one who wanted to go in. <laughs> Bye. Bye. So nice. Bordeaux. Like that. Yeah. One more.
actually really fun and Ben said that pizza is good and Ben is a self-proclaimed pizza connoisseur yeah he is because he's probably eaten not kidding a thousand pizzas in his life no babe for sure for sure no. yeah for sure. for sure so he said crazy pizza was good so it's not just a tourist spot but it's actually a lame anyway now we are going to rent a motor they actually have like you can rent a big motor in the city so we're gonna try this oh it's bad news only for eu residents back to the scooter my love no oh, are you sad It is our second to the last day in Milan and we are doing a day trip here in Lake Como. So it's nice because we actually took a Filipino driver who's right there, Kuya JV, I think that's his name. And it was about an hour away from the Milan city center. Not bad of a car ride, I just did my makeup and then that's it. And we're here and I didn't expect Lake Como to be this beautiful. So there, we're just gonna explore and let's go! Rides there. It's gonna take us to our house. Ben and his animals. Yeah. There, babe. It's fetching us now. Yeah. Babe, it's fetching us. Our ride. <laughs> Bridge that can take you across the lake, and then it just goes around, and then I think that's our final destination. This place is so beautiful, guys. It took us about. 600 euros for a private car and we're six people but it's really worth it like it's worth the money and the car ride to get here and then we've only been here for like 30 minutes and we've only seen the lake it's like a quaint little town but it's nice it's really really nice so i'm just happy that we got to go here so this is where Ben got his dancing skills. <laughs> now we're walking to the city center. Baby, you know, I can really imagine us motor here. Yeah, it's so nice. Also. Like imagine like it takes us about an hour and a half. Like will it, you though? I will. Motor, like if we yeah. were lived in Milan and you had your motor, roads are safe, it's wide. Well, well we can dream with our three houses in our imagination. Yeah, we'll motor to our um, <laughs> first house in the by the lake. We have another house in the mountains, no? And then we have one in Milan. Oh, <laughs> sometimes let's take the seaplane along. Lagi kay kapoy man to car and to motor. Yeah. Church is so nice. You never run out of churches, no, in Europe. Yeah. Like beautiful did. churches, never run out. Look at the carving. Yeah. So everyone's here in Levi's. If there's a discount, you can find Pinoy's definitely. <laughs> Let's go. Check. See my love love. I knew it. Oh my board sports love love. Where's Chi Chi Bear? Let's look for Chewy. 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 Oh, it's a Chi Chi Bear Bear. Milana girl. Milana is a girl. Milana is a girl. Walai Milana. <gasps> it's a Milana girl. <laughs> Since everyone is shopping, I'm just gonna get an Aperol spritz to go. 
because it's our one of our last few days in Italy and it calls for an April spritz. So this is the cola that they uh, served us. Go babe! Cola. Colada. Try. Pepsi. Pepsi. Where Pepsi? And this is how it looks like. They're lemonade. Let's try. It. Lemonade. Lemon soda. It's like lemonade with sparkling water. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Wow. You. Half of that. Two bars are over? Yeah. So we're finally done with lunch and now we're gonna meet Kuya to bring us to Bellagio. So Bellagio is about an hour away from where we are. There. We're gonna be ending our day there and then heading home after. So let's go to Bellagio. Here in the top of Lake Como, we took that tram as you guys saw, and let's see what we can do around here. Get it, babe. Okay. Heaven. What heaven looks like. Just look at the wine prices in Italy. My gosh. And I guess it's, these are good wines. <laughs> like the one, the most expensive I found was like this. In the supermarket. Five euros crazy look that big ass one is 439 wow can't be can't babe you won't get ubos let's go oh here's our pinoy driver kuya thank you for today book him ren <laughs> We are finally home from Lake Como and I thought that before I pack for Switzerland because we only have one last day tomorrow and I'm actually sending a box of my dirty clothes back home and a few other goodies for my family just so our luggages won't be so full while we're here in Europe because I think we still have about two weeks plus while we're still here. But anyway, before I remove my makeup, for everything, I thought of doing a little haul and I pack it. So first, start with clothes. So we went to the outlets in Florence and this is a bubble jacket from Prada. Ben actually has a collection of 
bubble jackets and he wanted me to buy one so that at least I have one nice one since I just borrow his but this one's from Prada there this is where the logo is it's such a big difference from the price in the store baliktad yung paglagay ko but it's for over here and then what else oh I bought this these pairs of pants today lang in Stradivarius because I wanted to wear it today. I've been wanting a pair of pants like this one where it's kita, like Murag ang um, brief is kita. And it's just pants. Then I also got this maxi skirt because I wanted to style it here. It has like a slit in front. The denim skirt that I have back home actually has a slit at the back. So I feel like this is gonna be cuter and a well, more flattering. Next, before we go to the shoes, thought of going to food first. So we actually went to Bigaletti. I don't know how I say it. Bialetti. <laughs> so we actually went to the Bialetti store earlier in Lake Como and I saw that they had this DNG collab and Ben and I wanted to display it in our new home. So I'm gonna be sending this back to the box. This one is the machine itself. It's so pretty. Look at that. DNG. So cute. I also bought ground coffee. I bought it for the can. So this is also a DNG can. And it's just ground coffee inside. Here you go. Again, this will go to the box. It's so cute. Such a nice gift idea. And we just bought ground coffee for Switzerland. Next up, we have a bunch of goodies for our box. So this is everything I'm gonna send home to my family. Just little goodies that we found in the supermarket here in Italy. So my brother loves Kinder Joy and I thought it would be different. Maybe it's better if it came from Italy itself. So I got him these. Um, I also got my family this one. Look, it's like a Ferrero bar. And then got this polenta, mushroom polenta. So but then I can try cooking it back home. And oh my god, this one. So I got three of these. I eat this almost every other day here in Italy. It's so, so good. It's the lime and pepper rosa. That's the flavor of this potato chip. It's so good that I got three for myself so that I can have it back home. I also got mushroom risotto by Noor just so we can try cooking it when we get home. This is for my family. But then I tried this in Rome and I really loved it. Both of us loved it. And I got them the dark chocolate one and I got them the white chocolate one as well. I'll probably leave white chocolate one for ourselves just so we have snacks here. And last but not the least, everything I have here is actually Rio de Mare. Rio Mare. This is just canned tuna that you can find here in Italy and it's by the nice favorite. This was introduced to him by our friend Alan because he used to go here a lot with his mom and he would bring home this one for Ben and his friends and we thought of giving this as lubong to them and we got cans for ourselves as well. For this, I mentioned that I got a pair of boots from Dior. I got so much messages when I posted my lavender outfits with a pair of boots I'm wearing and it's from Dior. I got this in Rome actually. I just didn't get to include it anymore in my Rome haul but it's so comfy. Actually, you know, the first time I wore it, it wasn't comfy at all. But I did break it in already. I've worn it about two or three times. And now it's comfy. So it's knee-high boots. It's really nice. I've been wanting and eyeing this since I saw it in Dubai. And there. That's what I got in New York. And the next pair of shoes. This one I got here in Milan. A pair of shoes from Prada. This one I've been eyeing ever since it came out. And I first saw it in black. And then when I found out that they had this color, I wanted to buy it. There you go. Da -da -da. So cute. I'm sure you've seen this with... A lot of other celebrities and I know that they have it in black but I got it in white so there they actually have a nude one but I thought this would be cuter so that's everything I bought in Italy so far I am um, haven't bought a bag I don't think I don't plan to buy a bag here just because I don't have any dream bag in my list or at least the ones that I can buy in stores I don't think I've talked to you guys properly. It's just touring you guys around Europe. But 
how I've been feeling the past 11 days that we're in Europe. I'm really super happy that I finally got to bond again with Ben's family after the pandemic because um, we really got to know each other really, really, really well because I lived with them in Cebu before Ben and I got engaged during the pandemic. And now that we moved out and we got married, of course, we don't see them as often as we wanted to, especially because we've been traveling a lot, both for work and both for leisure, me and Ben. But I'm just really happy that I get to bond with Ben's mom again. She's really my mom in Cebu, and she's really someone that I really admire when it comes to taking care of Ben and Gigi because she really brought them up super well. I mean, you guys no ben just even just through the camera you guys can tell that he's he was really brought up well and now that i'm re that i really have plans to become a mom soon it's nice to see her in the flesh like how she takes care of ben and how it's nice to learn things from her so there that's that's one of the things that i'm really happy about traveling here in europe with her and we have about two more weeks or a week and a half with her and i'm really happy that we've been traveling a lot so there i'm really thankful that they brought us to this trip especially because europe is no joke i mean everybody knows that it can be really pricey it can be really tiring to go all the way here on the other side of the world and i'm just happy that i got to experience it with ben's family and we're actually going to be meeting ben's brother in switzerland when we leave so tomorrow is our last full day in milan and then we head to switzerland so I think that's going to be the highlight of our trip. And there, that's it. So I think, I'm not sure if I'm still going to vlog tomorrow. But if I don't, then at least I ended it with a haul that you guys love. I hope that you guys have been loving my Italy vlog so far. And I'll see you guys in Switzerland. We through our trip and... Shopping for more. We have two box <laughs> stuff already. After 12 days in Italy. <laughs> All filled up. <laughs> Crazy. Good morning, guys. It is our last full day in Milan, and today is just shopping day, so we're just going around. And But first, we are gonna eat in a Korean restaurant. Yeeha! Picked up! Kuya, I trust you! Puro damit lang naman yan! Sige, thank you! 